Well, what's good, y'all? Welcome to the channel, and hope you guys are having a great day. And you want to know what I love? I seriously love. I love when gaming companies take a stand against the woke rhetoric. Now, typically, doesn't doesn't happen here in America because they don't want to upset the people of Twitter because Twitter is a thing, and gaming companies entertainment industry all of them they're just so scared of the people of twitter but i tell you what these guys over here i don't think they give a damn about the woke culture now the article said neptunia x senran kagura ninja wars dialogue denounces woke rhetoric Ooh, i love to see it i bet you guys love to see it too it's great like seriously i know i, I joke around a lot but this i seriously love to see it now before i go any further to the article y'all know the vibe y'all know the deal come on man hit that subscribe button hit that big red button your support is greatly appreciated in case you're new to the channel we talk about pop culture pop culture updates that includes anime gaming so on and so forth and I'm guaranteeing you this episode is bound to trigger somebody. But who cares, right? Let's get into it. So, the article says, Neptunia x Senran Kagura Ninja Wars, a title where the women of Neptunia meet with Senran Kagura Kunoichi, recently released in English, and the developer has once again referenced the currently ongoing culture war. The large... Booba's vert professing hatred for those that label fictional strong men and beautiful women as sexist. Due to the restrictions that surface as a result of the opinions or lies as she calls them. And we here we have some screenshots. Let's take a look. People at times feel writing strong men and beautiful women is sexist or showing the precariousness of life and the misery of war and of uh, war is violent and savage. What I cannot stand are prejudices spoken by those who have only played a few of the titles, lies said by those who have never beaten any. Ooh. Restrictions born from being manipulated by those opinions, trying to chase popularity that cannot possibly be justice? No, I shall say it. It is evil. Bravo. <sighs> that wiped the tears from my eyes. <laughs> this is great. Like I said, I love to see when companies are just like, screw it. We, 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 we're not here to just please the woke rhetoric. It's enough. Enough is enough. Yes, American companies tend to give in. And I have a perfect example. You guys are, if you're not new to the channel, you guys saw the episode where Resident Evil 4 was centering the game oh well it was facebook that was censoring resident evil 4 taking out the flirtatious lines the game is rated m for christ's sake it's not meant for kids i'm pretty sure adults can handle a little bit of flirting between characters within a game but that's my point that we give in to stuff like this meanwhile these guys are just like nah be mad be mad, y'all gonna be all right. The article goes on to say, Vert makes references to woke um, degeneracy that has spread across forms of entertainment that so often label strong men and beautiful women in fiction as sexist or catering to the male fantasy or the, as we all like to call it on this channel, to the male gaze. The same individuals who um, also belong more than eager to call any and everything offensive, transphobic, or other buzzwords. And y'all know the buzzwords, man. Just put them in the comment section. Y'all know the buzzwords. Both Neptunia and Senran Kagura franchises have previously subjected to censorship as part of Sony's efforts to protect the children, despite existence of rating systems and for the sake of the Me Too movement. Now, what is the point of having a rating system if you're not going to utilize it? Like my previous example, Resident Evil 4, clearly rated M for mature, blood, gore, guts, death, right? 
a game that kids shouldn't be playing, but somehow they've figured out a way to censor a game that's made for adults. It's like if you censor Grand Theft Auto. Can you imagine they tried to censor Grand Theft Auto? It wouldn't work. And people would revolt and they'd be like, it's not for kids anyway. So why are you censoring Grand Theft Auto? You see what I'm saying? Y- y'all see what I'm saying right here? Anyway, I know y'all understand what I'm trying to say here. But anyway, it says English translation of Neptunia games often take liberty to be meta, make jokes, or make indirect remarks about the current state of the game industry. So much commentary is likely not surprising to hardcore fans of the disturbingly sexualized series. Yeah, y'all know why they are mad. We know why they are mad. We know <laughs> why they are mad. <laughs> oh, I love to see it, man. Like I said before in a previous episode, it's the hypocrisy for me. When you want to hypersexualize men, I've seen girls go goo goo gaga over Dante or Virgil or Sephiroth or Cloud. Y'all know exactly what I mean, right? But when we sexualize or find things like this attractive, that tends to piss people off. Hypocrisy. Am I right? Am I right? Anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Let me know what you guys think. Like and share. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment. Let's start a discussion. I'm guaranteeing you when you come back to this channel, eventually, (laughs) it's bound to trigger somebody. I just can't escape it. I don't know why. I'm just speaking my thoughts. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. (laughs) I'm just saying. But if you like what I'm talking about, if you enjoy my episodes, you like my content, please don't forget to like and comment. Share this episode. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.